You know these will be the good old days 20 years from now. And oh my, these will be, will be the good old songs that are on the radio now. We remember when the old songs were the songs our fathers know. And oh, but now it seems the old songs were sung by Billy Joel. Billy Joel can't wait to sing the good old songs 20 years from now. Those songs that are the hits today our contest will allow somehow here's a glimpse of what's to come just, just remember when, when we're, we're done that these will be the good old songs just 20 years from now 20 I said the king's in the building. Uh, 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 tell me how you feeling. Yeah, I said the king's in the building. Uh, uh. Yo, what's good, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy King Things back again to do a big buff thanks. Coming back at y'all with another vid, man. As y'all can see by the title and thumbnail, I have found one of the best builds in the entire game that's extremely well balanced um you're gonna be able to iso with this player you're gonna be able to shoot lights out with this player you're gonna be able to get hall of fame co uh contact dunks you're gonna finish extremely well at the rim and you're gonna have clamps on defense and overall i mean i can't think of a better build out there i know there's similar builds to this out right now that have about 84 badges 80 you know 81 badges honestly i felt this the way i made this iso build at power forward um it's gonna have slightly less badges but it's gonna be um you're not gonna struggle in certain areas and get straight into this man so we're gonna make him at six foot seven we're gonna go minimum weight seven foot two so you're gonna leave it the wingspan at default and i went with built body sh body shape but honestly you can make them uh make them however you want so let's get into the uh attributes man all right so i've seen a ton of builds out here that don't have anything on close shot mine's not gonna have that much but i figured you know what with the amount of people missing close shots at the rim like trying to put back uh layups and all that i'm, I'm gonna put my close shot up to a 40 um and i'm gonna maybe add a finishing badge like a consistent finisher type badge to help me with those shots because i already played the uh rookieville and a, and a little bit of park and it's and it's been a struggle to make layups layups are ex i mean to make layups it's it's extremely skilled set it's gonna it takes a lot of skill to make layups this year you gotta be you gotta know what you're doing around the basket so uh we're gonna put a 40 close shot we're not gonna leave it minimum driving layup we're gonna go with a 90. So this opens up a whole bunch of badges potential badges right here yeah acrobat um driving dunk gonna go with a 92 the reason why we're not maxing it is because we want to save the extra badge points and if we go lower than that we only get gold posterizer okay we want hall of fame posterizer so we got to go with a 92 standing dunk we want to go with the 76 so that's max and then post control you're gonna be like why are you putting post control just to get the extra badge man that's it so we're gonna go with the 54 and then for shooting th this build is gonna be able to shoot lights out man it's it's gonna be crazy once it's all maxed out and has badges um we're gonna go with a 92 mid-range fully maxed fully maxed three point 86 y'all power forward six foot seven 66 free throw so we get 20 20 shooting badges so now let's move on to playmaking ball accuracy or pass accuracy we're gonna go up to a 71 okay ball handle 83 so max that and then max speed with ball 20 playmaking badges all right so with this build 
um, you can get floor general gold and dimer gold and then all the important playmaking badges on Hall of Fame, like quick first step and uh, stop and go. Uh, actually, stop and go is gold. Um, space creator, you get Hall of Fame, I believe. Um, you get ankle breaker on gold. That's the only uh, downside to the to this part of the build. You can't get Hall of Fame ankle breaker, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So for defense, interior defense, this is the only. This is one of the downsides of the builds. I had to sacrifice it because I needed the extra badge points for the physicals. So unfortunately, we're not touching interior defense. Uh, but for perimeter, we're gonna go up to an 88, okay? Steel, I also had to sacrifice on this, but we have some attribute points to work with. So we're going up to a 43. Block is max. Offensive rebound max. Defensive rebound max. We got 21 defensive badges. So if you add them all up, we got 74 badges for this build. Speed. We're going to go up to an 85. Obviously, you need to max that. Acceleration, 81. Strength. Not going to be the highest, but... You know, we're going to have some strength. We're going to be able to set screens, so y'all don't worry about that. Uh, vertical, we're going to go up to 75. It's all you need, bro. All you need to get, um, you know, uh, uh, the good dunk packages. You want at least a 75, okay? So, stamina is at a 90. That's all we need for this. And, yeah, this is the build, man. So, let's get into the badges. Actually, no. Matter of fact, we'll do the takeovers. So what I did was limitless range. And because my rebounding is so high, I figured, you know what? With the fact that I can't get pickpocket or interceptor, I think this build would be really good if I did the perimeter. No, if I did extreme clamps. Uh, I figured it would help with the steals and the bump steals because you guys are gonna see that steals in this game are pretty easy to get i'm not gonna lie i know a lot of people don't have badges and they don't have unpluckable so that's you know we're gonna see how unpluckable is and the good thing about this my player builder is that you can always change your takeover so if i feel like i'm not getting enough steals uh, I, I would just switch my secondary takeover to see the future you know uh shows you where you miss your shots will land ahead of time give you the upper hand and chasing the boards so for now i'm gonna test uh extreme clamps because um i'm gonna try to run with a big with a with a spot up big with, with uh on twos so i figured it'd be really helpful if i'm running the guard if i'm running the one to have extreme clamps we are called a scoring machine i feel like it's a it's an l for the name not gonna lie uh I don't really like the name, but I feel like it's a, it's an undercover build. What scoring, like, if somebody sees this in the park, are they really gonna think, oh, this guy can, can uh, get like a 90 block and a 95 defensive rebound? I don't think so, man. So it's like an undercover build almost. And now we're gonna get into the badges, okay? So, obviously gonna maximize our post to rise at the Hall of Fame. I figured I'd go with Silver Lob City, and uh, Highlight Film is gonna be the next Showtime. So they took out Showtime, but they basically renamed it. Obviously gonna go Hall of Fame with that. I'd probably put Gold Slithery Finisher, man. For shooting, got a lot of badges to work with right here. Obviously, we're gonna go with D3's Gold, okay? Uh, we can't get this Hall of Fame, unfortunately, uh, because we're at an 86. I believe you need a 92 Open 3 to get hall of fame correct me in the comments if i'm wrong um we're gonna go hall of fame green machine we are gonna go hall of fame hot shot this is gonna be one of the best badges in the game this looks so overpowered boost takeover meter after hitting jump shots why wouldn't you have this you know what i'm saying probably gonna put bronze dead eye and then we got eight left to go so i'm thinking Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, gotta go with that. I'm thinking Tireless Shooter would be a good badge to have on Silver. I'm thinking this is a W right here, this Antifreeze badge. Go with Silver Antifreeze. Good thing about, you know, this is you can change your badges before your player is maxed on badges. You can change them at any time, which is a dub. So let's get into the 
playmaking. So we're gonna go gold ankle breaker. Hall of Fame quick first step. Hall of Fame handles for days. Got nine left to go. Um, this one is gonna, if I run with a spot of which I plan to do, um, I'm gonna put, I would wanna put flashy passer, which is, what is it called? Gives boost to passer and receivers takeover meter following a flashy pass. Got to go Hall of Fame on that. Um, and then I'm thinking gold floor general. I don't think anybody's going to really need dimer in this game. And then I guess we'll do silver unpluckable. Looks like a great badge setup for playmaking. And then for defense, man. Oh my goodness. So since this build is going to be guarding... Uh, ISO builds and play shots and two-way shot creators and all that might want to have to have ankle braces on I'm not gonna lie ankle breakers are definitely gonna be uh, pretty OP in this in this uh, game so we'll do gold I'll do silver ankle braces I want to test the badge see how it is um, we're gonna go gold intimidator unfortunately we can't get a Hall of Fame intimidator on this build it's fine we'll make it work gold clamps meter after making oh my god this badge is also op so boost your takeover meter uh making defensive plays so you're gonna have so let's see this here so you're gonna have boost on hot stopper you're gonna get boost on highlight film for your teammates you're gonna get boost on hot shot your takeover, I feel like it, if you play good in a game, you're gonna get your dual takeover really fast. Meter, yeah, Heart Crusher Hall of Fame, like why not? <laughs> um, gotta go Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. It's like a pretty damn good badge set up to me for now. Yeah, man, so this is the build. So if y'all enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions about this build, leave it in the comments section. So yeah, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. We grind it for that 3,000 sub. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. I said the king's in the building. Uh, 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 tell me how you feeling. Yeah, I said the king's in the building. Uh, 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 tell me how you feeling. Now I'm about to show them how to make it in America. She's a ugly Betty, all America forever, huh? Am I speaking clear enough?